Guys, tonight I'm gonna to show you how to make the best enchiladas you've ever made in your life. It's chicken, it's chipotle, it's a cream-based cheese sauce that makes it amazing. Look at this chorizo right there. Chorizo cream-based sauce with our homemade salsa. Let me tell you something, this is gonna change everything. All right, so I mentioned these are gonna be incredible enchiladas. And the reason being is because I have found out the secret ingredient to one of my favorite enchiladas ever. And I found it in La Michion down in Baja, California. We used to go down there every couple of weeks and we spent so much time there that I got to know the chef, I got to know the kitchen, and I got to find out exactly how they do it. And it's not traditional, right? There's no enchilada sauce necessarily. Um, it's not coated in red sauce or green sauce. Uh, Basically what this is, is gonna be an enchilada and cheese sauce. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. But before we get to that, I'm gonna to have to show you how to prep the chicken. So let's get right into it. This is a beautiful couple of chicken breast straight out of Costco. I'm not gonna to lie to you, I didn't roast my own chicken because it's a Thursday night. I went over and I stopped and I bought one for five bucks and I'm ready to roll with it. Um, Roast chicken is one of my favorite things, and I'm telling you, any Sunday afternoon, you're going to find me roasting a duck, roasting a chicken, spending that time to develop the flavors and really uh, make a beautiful poultry dish. But here, it's going to be quick and easy because I'm going to stuff it in a tortilla, I'm going to throw it in the oven, and it's going to be delicious. Let's get it going. So here, you can either do salsa verde uh, with the chicken, or you can do like a green enchilada sauce. So I'm gonna do about a quarter cup, maybe a third, hmm, maybe a third of a cup of enchilada sauce. I'm going with hatch diced hot chilies. And we like it hot here, so the whole little can's going in. And then for a little bit of smokiness and a little bit of extra flavor, I'm going with chipotle. Let me open this die up. Oh, all right, so, well, sometimes that happens, right? Happy little accidents, as, uh, what's his name used to say? Oh, Bob Ross used to say, happy little accidents. Well, it looks like these guys aren't diced yet, so I have a little bit of work to do. Let me pop them open, and it's not going to be a whole lot, probably like, ooh, boy, those are, come on, man. These things, oh, that smokiness, it's going to add so much flavor to this chicken. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm gonna grab a couple big ones, a little bit of uh, a little bit of the <laughs> extra ones around the side, but I gotta dice them a little bit. So my mouth's watering. This smells so good. Let me get rid of this because I did not expect that. I thought they were gonna be diced. So surprise! Grab a knife. Ah, grab a knife. Again, another beaver custom. Look at that thing. It's a beautiful little six inch. All right, sharp as a blade, a razor blade. Look, you get in there, look at the seeds. And this Chipotle, I'm telling you, that I, I wish you could smell it right now. It is incredible. The whole Kitchen Bravo kitchen smells like Chipotle right now. It's like a smoked pepper. It's sweet. My mouth's watering. I've got it all over my fingers. Off camera, it's going to be all over my beard, too, because I'm going to be licking my fingers. But apparently, I'm not supposed to do that anymore on camera. So anyway, Chipotle peppers and So, so far, we have the chicken. We have the Chipotle. We have the hatch green chilies. Right now, I'm gonna mix that all up and I'll be back in 10 seconds after I clean this mess up. Okay, so we have our chipotle peppers, we have our chicken breast, and we have our hatch peppers in there, right? They're hatch chilies. We're gonna get these all mixed up and ready to get to know one another. And then as they do, they're gonna develop a lot of flavor. And again, my mouth's watering, I can't help it. I'm so excited about this dinner. And now, we're ready for kind of a secret ingredient that isn't so secret when it comes to Mexican cuisine. And that is our sausage, right? We're gonna get that going. 
right now. And it's not necessarily going to be a, a protein-focused ingredient. It's actually going to turn into a sauce. And that's what's going to be so interesting about it. Because again, these enchiladas aren't anything like you've really ever had before. And it was nothing like I've ever had before. All right, as you can see, the sausage is really rolling right now, and we are ready to start our sauce. Now, the sauce isn't going to be really a conventional thing that you're going to find in any normal kind of Mexican enchilada, and that's because we have heavy whipping cream. I know, it's weird, it's a shocker, and it does not say Mexican, but we're going in anyway. So sweet. All right, let me check that out. Let me look at this. Watch. As this sausage cooks down a little bit, that orange is going to start taking over, and it's going to develop this beautiful, beautiful sauce. So I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit. We're going to drop it down to a simmer, maybe like a two, three, while we finish up the rest. All right, come on. But here, I want about a cup, maybe a cup and a quarter whatever it takes. You know what, if I need more, I'm gonna go grab it. And again, this is kind of outside the box um, when it comes to what people would normally think about with enchiladas, right? I mean, why is there, there chicken stock there? Um, that's actually not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna grab this. All right, that should do it. What I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to actually coat the I can find it, tortillas. And yes, a thousand times I've made these things. And a thousand times I run it through the enchilada sauce, whether it's green sauce or red sauce. But this is going to add just a little bit of depth of flavor because we already have the enchilada sauce and the hatch chili uh, peppers in here that's giving us that flavor. Not to mention the chipotle. <clears throat> So, what I'm going to do is this, and these are normal. These, these are bigger than taco shells, right? These are a little bit, a little bit bigger, and uh, but that's okay. We have plenty of stuffing, and we have a big enough pan. So, what we're going to do is this. We're going to dunk it in here a little bit. This tortilla, if you're Canadian, <laughs> is going to soak up that uh, that broth, that uh, that stock. And it's going to wet it just a little bit. And then what we need to do is grab a plate. And have something to prep. So we're going here. Normally I would just do it on the countertop, but apparently that's not as hygienic as they suggest. Even if we clean it twice, three times a day. So I'm going to use a plate. Right in the middle. Look at that. There's a little bit of skin in there left. Great, that's more flavor. So the chicken goes in, the hatch, chilies, the chipotle peppers. Look at that, beautiful. And it's soaked in that, uh, that chicken stock. So it's gonna add even more flavor, all right? For me, I like to add in just a little bit more cheese, which I don't have exactly what I'm looking for because I want, look at this develop. Come here, look at that. It's gonna need just a little bit more cream, but as that cooks down, it's gonna thicken and make an amazing, amazing uh, chorizo sauce. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit since we're still working, but I gotta have cheddar. For me, I'm a cheddar guy. And I like to put just a little bit of cheddar inside. Just a little bit. Is that a little bit? It's a lot of it for you. It's a little bit for me. That's okay. Um, before I do that, I have to prep this pan. And the way I do that is this. Again, this isn't a normal enchilada because there are no rules. If you find something that's amazing, do it. Make it your own. Make amazing food. Nobody's, nobody should be telling you different. Check this out. Look. 
Now, whoever thought about doing that? Putting heavy cream in the bottom of the enchilada pan. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because my mouth's watering. Once the cheese starts coming out and the, uh, the chorizo, everything starts coming out, that's going to make the most amazing sauce ever. This is thickening up perfectly. So I'm going to turn that down. I'm going to set it off. And then I start rolling it. Whoa. And I'm going to roll, roll, roll like a Cuban cigar. Oh, Mr. Lynn would be happy with that, as he does love his cigars. All right, we're going right in. Look at that. So see that heavy cream? That's going to be the base for our sauce, for that cheese sauce. All right. So what do we do next? Let's roll. Cheese. What do we do? Roll it like a Cuban. Bring it in. Tuck, tuck, roll, seam side down. Tuck, tuck. Nobody thinks about cream in their Mexican food, but man, what an incredible addition. So what are we gonna do? We do this. We have the cream, come on in, check this out, Sam. Look at the cream as I push this down. Look at that. This is gonna make the most incredible sauce, but what's it need to thicken and to make a sauce? An incredible Monterey Jack cheese. It's gonna make it creamy, it's gonna make it amazing, it's gonna make it delicious. And that's what's gonna thicken up that cream even more so than it already is. And brown it, it's gonna be delicious. All right, let me see. From here, we're going in the oven. Come check us out, Sam. Boom, right in. No cover needed. So we're gonna rock that at 350 for about 30, maybe 35 minutes. I'm gonna check it out. And then while that happens, I'm gonna go check out our sauce, make sure it's make sure that it's perfect and ready to roll. All right, I'll see you in 30. Mm -hmm. All right, dude, check this out. How's that? Oh yeah. All right, as you can see, our sauce is actually thickening up a little bit. So I am going to grab a little bit of our stock. That chicken stock is gonna add a little bit more flavor. And it's gonna let that just cook down and just infuse over and over again. Look at that, watch the color develop, the flavors are developing. Man, I am so excited about that. Mm, mm, mm. And for me, just a little bit more cheese. Okay, so it's been about 35 minutes and the timer went off, so I think we're in good shape. I had a peek at it and I think we are good. And especially judging by the smell. So, I'm gonna pop this out. Sam, what do you think of that? Think we're good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's pull it. Okay, so the moment has finally arrived. I've waited the five minutes, let everything settle down, solidify a little bit so that we can finally plate. All right, so let's grab the plate. We'll grab this guy. Spatula, offset spatula, because we're fancy. But come in here, check this out. All right, so I'm gonna go right down the side. Look at the sauce in there right there. And this is the best way to do it. Just get an offset spatula. Oh my God, look at that. And I'm just gonna come up underneath, lift. Look at that cheese, look at that sauce. Boom, right in the middle. Mm. Beautiful, if it's a little bit messy, that's okay. But look at this guy, come on, man. All right, from here, I want just a little bit more of that sauce to go over the top. I want it to cover the cheese a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a spoon. And that is some brilliant heavy cream, Monterey Jack cheese. Hmm, not watering, I can hardly talk about it. All right, from here, come on over, let's check this out. 
Now from here, look at this sauce. This chorizo sauce has been settling down, thickening up, and it's now ready to go right over the top. So come on around here and let's look at this thing. Grab a fork. Knife. Not that one. Knife. Let's see what's happening inside here. Let's go. Let's open that bad boy up. Oh man, it looks a mess. It's gonna be delicious. My mouth's watering. So I'm just gonna dive in. All right? Here we go. Full of cheese, peppers, chorizo. Let's see. Mm. You'd never really think to put cream-based sauces in your Mexican. Please do it. Again, you know, this is Kitchen Bravo. There are no rules. We do what tastes right, right? And that's all that matters. All right, let me do this. Let me get one more bite. All right, come on, get in here. Let me see this. What do you think of that? Hey! I guess that says it all. I'm gonna go retract. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. You want to see more amazing recipes like this? Subscribe! It's right down there. We're so excited to have you join the Kitchen Bravo family. You're going to see amazing recipes, whether it's desserts or pasta, Mexican, you name it, we're going to bring it to you. Join the family, subscribe right now, and we look forward to seeing you soon. And by the way, if you have any requests, let us know what you want to see made, because we'd love to make it for you. Any way we can help, just comment below, and we will see you soon.